Hello, audience. Are you ready for some Thimbleweed Park? I know I am. It's late. It took me a minute to get here, but I'm here now. That's what's important, you guys. Like, I'm here now. So, last time we were watching Thimbleweed Park. Watching? Playing? Enjoying? Being a part of? Experiencing? All of those words are in the source. Uh, last time we were here, Thimbleweed Park, we found out we got into the factory with Dolores, if I remember correctly. And there's some random weird stuff in there that we need to deal with. There's also the matter of uh, Chuck's lucky number. I have to figure out what that is. We should have to figure out what book we need to put on what podium and how do we get it so that we can get the ghosts out of there. We got lots of things we got to figure out. Hey, Docs and Gaming. Good to see you here. You tuned in just in time for us to begin the game, which we're beginning the game now. Now-ish. We're loading the game. We're looking for the right sa save game. Ooh, hiccups. All right. Now, as custom for the stream, since we only play this once a week, we gotta figure out what we're supposed to do. Get inside the pillow factory, all right? Decry decrypt Chuck's will. Oh yeah, right, so we've got Chuck's it's journal. It's a red gel decoder. That's not what I wanted. There's the hint book, there's the will. So we can look at the will. The will's all in hex code. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. He used it to win the lottery. So maybe maybe he's got a uh, lottery ticket stashed in his office somewhere and we just had to find it. Let's try that. This wall clock looks interesting. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. That's a Diggin'? Maniac Mansion joke. Diggin'. Doug is digging. Digging Doug. Alright, lucky number. So, let's run around here. See if we can go into Chuck's office. If we can get into Chuck's office... You know what? Maybe... I bet his lottery ticket would be in his actual office. Can we pick up the robot head, I wonder? Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished work. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished no, working on him. Up. Pick up. Robot Too head? bad yeah. Uncle Chuck never finished working Not on him. Not gonna happen. Walk to safe. We need... Let's see. Does somebody still have that fingerprint book? <laughs> oh yeah, we've also got the Star Trek guy. Who we need to talk to. Pigeon Brothers. Plumbing, electrical, and paranormal investigations. See, Ransom, he's got his joke book and he's missing pages. Bear repellent, a Betamax tape, specks of dust. All right, what do we got? Visit Chuck's tomb to get closure, find secret spell book, escape to the ap afterlife. Can we chill the jeweler's tool? I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one that doesn't use electricity. Hmm. Looks fine to me. I wonder if we can scare... Alright, where are you? You're in the hotel. The doors are closed. Alright, push the button. I wonder if we can scare the guy, or talk to the guy from the Star Trek dealio. I think we might have tried this last time, but I can't remember. It's been too long. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Sounds like something. Oh being yeah, so we there. tried this. It doesn't Nobody let me do that. See that. Bah. Not a game. Oh. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. Okay. I don't want to see that. So I got really guy, but I don't know if that's actually what I need to do. We got a hotel room. I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder, and it's missing the fingerprint tape. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken, and only right. a professional will be able to fix it. Let's see. There's nothing. I don't. I really don't think there's anything in here that's useful. I need some fingerprints, but I don't have any fingerprint tape. Stay tuned for I'm I can get in here and I see the jeweler's tools, but I can't get them. I need that guy's hotel. Making him sick is something that's important. But I don't really know. Robot pirate. Batman's just kind of walking around. All right, we got a lot of stuff to figure out. Cutting edge computer technology. I can't imagine a game nerd. I can't imagine why I would want to talk to him. Don't talk to these people. Books on UFOs, animation, and puppies. Hmm. Drinks. The ransom contest. <laughs> yes, yeah, subject. You were late. I know. Jeez, it's ridiculous. Like it's like no one's Gary. on time anymore. You guys. <laughs> Thank you for coming, sir. No, no need to feel bad. A dime a dozen. I was super late. Sam decided he wanted to play longer tonight. I don't need any more hints, do you? Yes, I need hints. But. All right, what's Ransom's to do? Let's have on it. Find missing joke book page. 70, 25 more specks of dust. Break into the pillow factory. All right, find missing joke book page. I don't even really have a good idea of where to go for that. I'm trying to think of where a joke book page would go. Where would I find one? Maybe the dumpster? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. I wonder if... Oops, not what I wanted to do. Here today, gone tomorrow. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Fed's out now. Alright. I'm so stuck. Steal secret to the pillow factory IAI. Break into the pillow. Hey, can everybody keep out an eye out for specks of dust for me? Because I don't think I've been noticing them here lately. Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's go to the penthouse. The elevator isn't on this floor. What it's a weapon to call the elevator. I love my cat. The world is in chaos. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. It's funny because I'm playing a ghost right now. Oh. Dang, nabbit. I forgot to hook up my sound effect machine. My sound effect machine, otherwise known as my MacBook. <laughs> I think that did it. Did that not do it? This thing's been finicky lately. Stupid thing. At least we're listening to this beautiful elevator music as I try to figure out why my stupid thing won't work. Oh, jeez. I need to do everything. It's still Thimbleweed. Yeah, we're never finishing this game. It's taking me a long time. We're also not going to have sound effects tonight because my headphone jack doesn't work right. Alright, so this glowing crystal. We know we need that. <laughs> Sorry, WC Mitchell. We'll be uh, we'll be to full throttle remastered soon enough, just not right now. Unfortunately. All right, so there's a podium. So okay, let's let's do this. Let's get Dolores out of here. 
Let's take her to the gypsy thing, which I think is on A Street. Walk faster. I can't reach. I don't need you to reach it. I just need you to get there, and then we can walk. Laser disc. Thimbleweed post office. All right. We need a book on the occult. The monkey paw knows. All right, that's fine. I don't care. Just talk to me. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, <laughs> It's pretty far into the Morris. game. The bubble fish has a banana. I don't even know what that means. I guess you heard about my uncle. Ah, oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. That's a good way Although to put it. Although I can't it. pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's, like, way harsh, <laughs> Marina. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. Alright, let's see. It's good let's to just, see you let's again, Let's just talk Marina. to her for a little bit. Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. <laughs> if anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on Subject them. to change. I've got a really Four streams good in, so five minutes of normal people play. Bathing suit parts green. Har, har, har. What is it with you and those totally tripping hexes? I like to get creative with my craft, dear. On an unrelated note, do you know anyone who deserves a permanent talking zit on their face? Oh, Marina. Enough with the curses already. Jeez. Although, if my sister keeps acting like a total bimbet, I might come back to you. It's a bimbet. Is it like a bimbo? People really loved my uncle, didn't they? It was a mixed bag, my dear. Most of the town adored Chuck, but there were many of us <laughs> who despised the man and sensed womp, womp. the darkness within. What did you mean by the darkness my I uncle need to had? Talk to more people. Chuck exuded an aura of greatness, but that greatness was always balanced on a knife's edge of good and evil. The man was ruthless and fell into the dark a long time ago. I thought he wanted me to be happy, but really, he just wanted me to keep his legacy alive. As with most terrible I parents. I idolized my uncle. But if that's all I was to him, then I wonder if I ever really knew the man at all. Goodbye, Madame Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. I do need a book. I just don't know what book I need. That's what's unfortunate about this whole thing. Ugh, smells awful. Like, I need a book about how to... How to get ghosts out of a place. I think it's just... I think it's the order of things? It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No way I'm touching that. Meh. Cursed doll. Oh, the cursed no mommy. way I'm touching that. But the cursed head that keeps looking Ugh, at me. Smells awful. Oh. Oh. Pretty disgusting head. Pretty disgusting head. Bloop, bloop. There's a small name tag. Seth the Navigator Head. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Now I've got the Navigator's Head. But it, it, so, can I use it? Ugh, smells awful. It let me actually pick up the navigator's head. Can I have the cursed eye it's drops? It's a bottle of eye drops. What the devil? I'm just picking up everything. It's a bottle of Eric's Eye Magic Special Drops. The label says, restores your vision with a soothing river of tears. Side effects <laughs> may invoke painful memories. Uh, let's pick up cursed tea. The label says, Howlin Kin Yao Tea, a magical tea, gives you the gift of speaking many languages. I haven't met anybody that speaks a different language yet. But this has been fun picking up this stuff. A mysterious force must be holding it in place. It's kind of awesome that uh, there's all these things that I don't, I don't know if I need or not. Can I use these? Ouch! <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was please Uncle Chuck. <laughs> I tried so hard, but it was never enough, and I failed him. <laughs> mm. Wow, I feel better. Let's go give these to Ransom. I have way too much inventory. 
<laughs> yeah, got any root beer? No, unfortunately not. Aha! There you are. Why can't I select you? Oh, probably because... Okay, let's give... Magic eye drops to ransom. What the f you can't carry this. <laughs> he hates when I give him stuff. Pop! <laughs> Why did my father tease me all the time? Oh, I laughed, but it hurt so bad inside. <laughs> he was a bitter and mean man. <laughs> wow, I feel better. Hmm. There's something to these eye drops. I don't know what it is yet. But there's something to them. Alright, I redeemed the pizza. Thimbleweed pizza. Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. I wonder if that's related to the, the radio tower somehow. 1557.50. It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. Okay, and I've got a lighter. Put anti-itch cream. Gross. <laughs> That's pretty nasty. <laughs> Mr. Kozlarik really knows his itch creams. <laughs> Alright, this is just stuff. I'm just playing with stuff because I don't really know what else to do at the moment. All right, who? Let's see. Let's have you look at the podium. Oh, looks like a book can be placed here. I'm gonna need a book. I don't think any of my notebooks do anything. These two detectives don't have anything. Fix Dad's watch. Find evidence that Dad didn't start the electric fire or the factory fire. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take him to the factory. Because there was an office that he... There's a picture of him. I think it's this way. Let's see. Yeah, look at picture. I was cute as a kid. I missed... It would be nice to have this photo of my family. I'll leave it here as evidence until after we're all done. It's a map of the abandoned factory. It's some crumpled up paper. What's the crumpled up paper say? Or am I just picking up? I'm picking up paper. I'm cleaning up. Aha! Security handbook. Factory security is very important. This is look at look at what happens. Hey, dressed. Welcome to the show, man. Uh, Pilotronics Incorporated factory security is very important to us. The Pilotronics factory contains highly proprietary machinery and technology. A breach of security is a breach of each of us. When making the rounds, be sure to check into each security box within five minutes of the last box. When the correct time is entered, the station light will turn green. If the factory AI is engaged, it's important to never enter the factory unless the SRO1s have been disengaged. Pilotronics Incorporated will not be responsible for any death or dismemberment that results in failure to shut down all factory AI before entering. Failing to check in at the proper times could result in a factory lockdown. If factory lockdown occurs, the PF001 Master 2 may, be need, may need to be reset. The CEO is the only one with the proper instructions for resetting the PF001. For security and time code information, call 4735. 4735. You got it. 4735. Thank you for calling the Pillowtronics Automated Security Information Line. Yeah. For today, proper start time for Station 1 is 2 o'clock. Exactly. All right. Station one. That's station three. I think station one. It's not this way because that was two, right? Station two. Yeah. So station one is back here. Do, 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 do. And they have to be activated within five minutes of each other. Station one. I can't really click anything. Oh, I bet I need to put my watch in there and then set it. Yeah, but it's broken. Alright. Cool. 
Not leaving Dad's watch behind. So I need to get the watch. Fixed. I need to find the correct time to set it to. All right, I need to get the watch fixed. So I need the jeweler's tools. I need the guy who's getting sick to give me his jeweler tools. All right, so let's let's just. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> that's just so funny. Okay, back to the hotel. Well, let's uh, let's go to the radio tower first. Let's let's experiment over there because I haven't actually been up the radio no, tower. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. All right, wrong person for that job. Is there anything over here I can grab? No. Okay. Can I pick up pick up this glass? I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Uh, let's see. Pick up calendar. It's not nailed I down. Don't I want to pick it. that up. All right. Let's go in here. Let's figure out what to do with this guy. I wonder, so he's got spaceships and bottles. Pew, pew, pew! Starships in bottles, handmade. Who does he sound like? How do you make the starships so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table to get some dinner. Hmm. How much do your starships cost? More than someone in your pay bracket can afford. But today, we're doing a special deal. If you can answer me this one question, you will get a free starship in a bottle. What is the question I need to answer to get a free starship? Warning! You only have one chance to get this right. Which okay. is the best science fiction show ever made? Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek. It hasn't been made yet. That's probably the truth. We'll try Star, Star Trek. Trek. Congratulations. <laughs> You've won a replica of the Starship Isabella. Sweet. All right. That was Bye. new. You will not find better Star... The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the Starship Isabella in a bottle. Okay, Isabella in a bottle. I'm gonna actually have Dolores come talk to him because she's a nerd and she might have different um, dialogue options. Because nerds know how to talk to each other. These people don't know what they're doing. Starships in bottles, handmade. Can I try the question to win a free starship? Only one starship in a bottle is given out free per day. Come back tomorrow for another chance. But I won't be here tomorrow. Not my problem. Nah. How do you make the starship so small? I don't really want to listen to him tell that story again. tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each, each photon, photon torpedo. torpedo. Can I borrow your jewelry tools? They're up in my room, but I can't even leave this table, table to, to get, get some, some dinner. dinner. All right. I want you to go get... Okay, so I need to get him sick. But once he's sick, I can't go in his room. So I really need him to just leave the table. Right? How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh. Bad memories. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I got an idea. Maybe this guy gets in the elevator. Maybe. And I can just screw with him. Let's see, because I'm in here. It's probably not going to work. No, it wants me to leave. Dang, nabbit. So that guy got in the elevator. The elevator's still moving. It's a button to call the elevator. And the elevator isn't responding. Someone must have locked its use. Hmm. I can't reach that. 
Hello? I don't know. I don't know what to do about that guy. I'm struggling. It's a puzzle dependency. Oh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all? The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. Open an account today and get a free toaster. I wonder if I need a toaster. It's a small wooden figure with mat carved into the base. It's a bear. <laughs> These are THX 1138 twos. The label says Howlin Kenya. Arr. It says Philip's dangerous device and it has a red button and a I really don't think I should use this. Bad tubes. Hint it's a book. red gel decoder. I just don't know. Can I give that to the developers? No, won't let me. Uh, I've got like so many random things. I know I need... What's... Okay, all right. Why would I need a toaster? Pew, pew, pew. Why would I need a toaster? Why would I need a toaster? Let's go get a toaster. Let's go open an account. I should wait until he's off the phone. <laughs> What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. How can I help, madame? I want to open an account. You know nah, much about let's just Jack talk to him Edmund. for a little bit. He was a much-loved community figure and our bank's most loyal customer. Mr. Edmund will be sorely missed. He can't hear you six feet under, so don't kiss his ass for my benefit. <laughs> Have some respect for the dead, please, madame. Why is the factory locked up so tight? In its current state, the factory is not safe to enter. Fire damage rendered the building unstable, and I'm sure the Edmonds don't want any frivolous lawsuits. Me but aside too. from that, it is my understanding the factory still contains some valuable Pillotronics equipment. That's why we are holding the key until Mr. Edmonds' final wishes are made clear at his will reading. Well, I already took the I key, see. so... What's your role here? I'm Mr. El Palo, the manager of Safely First Savings. I take care of all the day-to-day -day operations of the bank. May I ask why the feds are interested in my work all of a sudden? You may not. Oh, you know what? Goodbye, Mr. El Paulo. If you ever need savings or loan advice, feel free to drop by. Let me let me do this. So you've got the bank flyer. Let's run you over to the bank. Not what I wanted. See if she can give uh bank flyer to the guy dang nabbit hello safely first savings your money we're all out of toasters okay well that that does that answers that question breathing and moaning that answers that question get into chuck's tomb get a thimbleberry pie where do i get a thimbleberry pie from do you know except the navigator's head so let's Let's go back to the woods trailhead. Because I've got the navigator's head. I kind of want to use something to put in this puddle. It's a Star Trek guy. Somebody walks through that puddle every time I come over here. I don't know how to follow them. Pretty disgusting head. Ugh, smells awful. I mean, I'm not randomly going to solve this thing. This is like a Ron Gilbert crazy puzzle. Thimble berries. It's a thimbleberry bush full of berries. I need to get it, but it just makes me bleed. No way am I touching a thimbleberry bush without proper protective gloves. Everybody else just grabs at him. Dagnab it. So now I need gloves. Where the crap am I going to get gloves? Alright. Mansion. 
There weren't any gloves at the mansion. There weren't any gloves at the old circus. Where am I going to find gloves? Uh, the quickie pal. All right. We are hardcore stuck. And we've got to find our way through this. We're like mega stuck. These people. I've talked to these people. We hey, talk to Willie. Hi, Dolores. A long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> Chuck was fuming. I'm sorry, my uncle uh, Willie's Chuck a destroyed your guy. life. Your uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. But you're all right, Dolores. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. I wish I could give you your life back. I didn't kill that man out by the well, bridge. I know you I, didn't. I hope you know that. This is the I flimsiest that, evidence I've ever seen. I'm sure a jury of your peers will acquit you. Oh, great. And as soon as they can find 12 drunk, has-been homeless bums, <laughs> I'm home free. What happened between you Let's and get Uncle some history. Chuck? He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, this music is I awesome. took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. My uncle was such a jerk. Yeah, he was. You're a sweet kid. Now, you might have your uncle's brain, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. Do you still do watch repair? I haven't done watch repair in years. Not since your uncle blacklisted me and I lost my business. I used to do watch repair for all the rich and famous of Thimbleweed Good County. Gloves. Doesn't this music drive you crazy? I think the sheriff put it on as a form of torture. He even broke the radio so it can't be <laughs> That's turned why off. it's playing. I just want to listen to some nice theremin music. See you, Willie. I wonder if I can just take the radio. I don't want to pick that up. I can't turn it off. The knob is missing, and the radio is bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torture. All right. Let's go down to the coroner's office. They might have gloves. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. Okay. Well, that's, that answers that question. Got books. Can I push the bookshelf? I can't push that. Lots of medical books there. Ugh. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. It's a medical skeleton. Ugh. I don't want to pick that up. All right. This isn't the right place to find gloves. Realty, Willie's watch repair. I'm a, I just don't know if I'm way off base. If I'm thinking right. There's nothing in this alley. We've been down this a million times. We came here and we ate hot dogs. That was important. Welcome to the S and D diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? Nah, we I don't changed need my anything mind. There. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. There's nothing back the other way that we want. You have gloves here, man. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Man-eating plant. Can I have the man-eating plant? Better leave it be. Ugh, smells awful. <laughs> he used that. Let's see. Hi there. Look at Lotto. I'd play it if it were a sure thing. I don't want to pick that up. Let me know if I If I had something to mail, this might work. Hmm. Leonard, don't need anything from you, really. Let me know if I can help you find anything. No. Just wandering around. Trying to figure out what the crap to do. No 
No way am I going to look in there. I can smell it from here. Can I steal more of these? It won't work on that size tube. It's for a TX1138 size. I know what kind of tube it's for. Ah, radio station. Old circus. Can I go to the old circus? And if I do, what will I find there? Nothing. It's an old run. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's our garbage dump. I'm not going in there. I still get the occasional nightmare from the last time. I don't want to go in there. Yeah, there's nothing. It's an old moth-eaten trampoline. Mm -mm. I'm not touching it. <laughs> this, is, this is basically pointless unless you're ransom. No. Office key, clown horn. Can I pick up the clown horn? I don't want to pick that up. Okay. Nothing there. All right. All right, let's go back to the abandoned factory. I'm I'm betting this is some sort of dialogue puzzle and I just don't know who to talk to. It's locked and there's no handle. Okay, can't get in there. <laughs> oh, excuse me, man. Oh, a speck of dust. Good thing I caught that. All right, electric truck. I see another time clock back there, but this truck's in the way. Can I pull this restraining bolt? I can't move it with my hands. It's rusted in place. I don't think I have anything I could use with that. It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It's now in the on position. What? I don't think so. That looks off it to me. It appears to be the on-off lever for this electric truck. It looks like the battery is dead. The battery is dead. There's so many broken things in this place. So many broken things. The battery is dead. What does that mean? I need a generator? What's There's this a stuff? radiation sign on this silo. Must be radioactive waste. I can't open that. Pull I it. can't pull that. Push it. I can't push that. Uh, pick it up. I'm not touching that slime with my bare hands. <laughs> okay. There's nothing in here that's useful either. I mean, I did find that book. I was feeling really good about that. But at this point, I'm not feeling good about anything. Radioactive waste silo. What? Who, who has anything? It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Nice hint. I can't... Oh, jeez. Well, we know I haven't done anything useful. What? What's... What is this? So wander around aimlessly long enough and what the crap? Whoa. What was that? Where are you? Yeah, he's a doctor. He's a doctor. He's a doctor or who? Doc no. Doctor Who. Where'd he go? So now I've lost access to him. And I don't know why. Just go look. He's pixelated even more. If the coroner waits much longer, he'll be able to use him as a coffee table. been down here before but I don't I don't know if I should continue exploring
What's this? Oh, that's kind of cool. I gave up looking at dinosaurs when I was eight years old. Didn't everyone? <laughs> okay. Giant dinosaur. No one cares. Okay, so we're on Main Street. Let's just explore all of Main Street. A speck of dust. It's a sturdy, impenetrable gate. I can smell that it's not of interest. <laughs> now we're on B Street. It's back with us. Glad I came down here. Lots of stuff on B Street. It's back with us. Needed that. More specks of dust. Yes! I knew they were going to hide a bunch of them down here. I just had this gut feeling that that's how this game was going to roll. I mean, specks of dust all in the sewers and I'd bypass all of them. This is at least a nice distraction from not knowing where on earth to go. It's a ton. Seems to be a good, uh, a good move. So now we're on A Street. Let's just go all the way then to A Street, just like we did a second ago with B Street. There's a fridge down here. I remember this. We looked at this. A fridge. In this case, I'd consider labeling it as a potential floating coffin. Can we open it? If I open the door, it will just sink. Is there any thing I need to do with it? No, probably not. All right, nothing there. I think I actually came through all these. And I got all the stuff that I really needed. Do, 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 do. Parking cones. Can I pick up a cone? I don't need the extra safety of a cone. Can I use valve? Nah. Might cause a <laughs> nuclear meltdown. Alright. Looks like it's lost a couple of... I don't have a warrant for a badly... T I don't have a warrant for stinky shoes. Pick up red herring bags. I'm confident I have enough adventure game red herrings in my inventory already. Pick up more I magic don't think perfume. we need oh. any more shoes. Oh, spec dust. So, nothing in here then. Nothing more to see. Alright. I figured I would check it out, just to be sure. All right, we've wandered around down in here enough. <sighs> Circus cemetery. All right, cemetery. Flowers left over from a funeral. It's Chuck's final resting place, apparently. The heavy wrought iron gate to the tomb is closed, but I see a switch inside. I don't see a way to open it, but I There's see a switch, a switch inside. Do I have anything to touch the switch with? It's a TX1138 tube, all fresh and no. shiny. <laughs> Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Get a thimbleberry pie. So I know where to get thimbleberries. Oh, oh crap. Okay. Alright. Alright. I know something. But down, but down. I know what to do. I know I have a, I have a small in, in, inkling of what might at least lead us in the right direction. That's Ricky's cakes. Because Ricky. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's. She was in the video. How can I help you? With my buddy. Ricky, you make such great thimbleberry pie. Can I get one? I'm sorry, hun. I'm out of the pie making biz. Strictly mm. tubes now. Oh no! I have a problem then. In ha, order to I figured it out. Will okay. Red, I need one of your famous thimbleberry pies. Well, in honor of your uncle Chuck, I'd make an exception. Yes. But there just aren't any more thimbleberries left. Your uncle has hey, them Jamal JV. To Welcome to the stream, sir. No more thimbleberries. No more thimbleberries? It's sad, isn't it? The last thimbleberries were spotted out in the old forest. Not the forest. I, I always I need hated to get the thimbleberries. There. I know where they are. Yes, pretty spooky. No one goes there unless they have to. People have been lost in there for days. <laughs> days. 
and I heard some never make it out I'm alive. I'm good, Jamal. It's How true. are you? I've heard those stories too. And then there's the old bear problem. So, Bear problem. I want... first thing, you'll need some thimbleberry picking gloves. Where do I get you those? You know how those thorns can leave you breaking out in welts. I just happen to have an yes. old pair I could loan you. Thanks. I really wish this worked because I would totally Sanford and Son right now. It just, it just doesn't. It would be great if it did work though, because then I could, I could Sanford and Son. Stupid thing. How am I gonna do the show on Thursday if I can't get my dag? Okay. Well, good. It doesn't matter. We've got thimbleweed gloves. Thimbleweed gloves? Thimbleberry gloves. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. You guys. We just, we just, what? You have, dude, are you okay? Jamal says he uh, had a car, doesn't have a car anymore because he got an accident and totaled it. Are you, you, you're okay though. Oh. Got hit by some guy. That's terrible, man. I'm just, I'm glad you're safe. That's what's important. Cars and stuff can be replaced. I know it's in ridiculously inconvenient, but the good news is that you're okay. Long minutes of furious thimbleberry picking. Making a left-hand turn. Ah, oh, dude, I'm sorry. That's awful. The map is use the map is useless in this. Okay. I'm out. Let's go back to her place. Get this thimbleberry pie. He was going 35. You're betting he was going a little bit faster than that? Dude, I'm so sorry. That's awful. All the good vibes I can send are coming your way. She's too far away. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. I don't think they Welcome do either. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. How can I help you? I have the thimbleberries. Can you please make me the pie? You found them. Good for you. And no welts. I was very Man, careful. Man, that one, that was a and tricky also, puzzle. your gloves. Won't be needing them now. Thank, Thank you. you guys for I'll go make it hanging now. out with Won't me. Won't be a jiffy. She's making a pie. It sounds like she's building something. Here's your thimbleberry pie. Exactly how Chuck liked it. Thank you. Sweet. All right, back to the mansion. We're just going to follow this train of thought since we seem to be doing pretty well. I kind of wish you could just teleport. Dress is probably right. Though I'm not, this is not legal advice. I can't tell you what to do because I don't really know. Oh yeah, that's not going to work. If you were cited for making an unsafe movement, they must have judged that the left turn you took was not okay. All right. Now let's give the pie to the lawyer. Mr. Balowick, here's the freshly baked thimbleberry pie. One of Chuck's three stipulations is now fulfilled. We have a fresh thimbleberry pie. All right, what you else still need want? to decode his will, and then we'll meet inside Chuck's opulent tomb. Dang, damn it. Here's the decrypted will. Let me see. <laughs> Dolores, this is all hex gobbledygook. You haven't fully decoded it yet. Well, I, I wanted to feel hmm. good about it. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. It must be encoded. I need to find the key to decode it. Maybe if I could remember Uncle Chuck's lucky number. He used it to win the lottery a few years back. So I need to get into his office. Bah! Witnesses should hang out, man. That's for sure. Urgh. Action figures. ASCII chart. Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. Bah. <laughs> Sorry. These these noises seem to help me a little bit. If I just if I just grumble about it long enough, I'll be able to figure it out. Okay, I need his lucky number. I have a key to an office. It's spelled really wrong. It's a key. Hmm. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. Office is spelled wrong. But that's that's probably okay. Open an account today and get a free toaster. All right. Let's. What? Now he's back. 
I don't... I don't understand. How am I just okay now? I just took him out of play for a little bit, and now he's better? I don't get it. Alright, let's go... Let's go back in here. Let's talk to Virgil. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know book. how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. See you soon, Virgil. I need a spell book. I need a spell book. Spell book, spell book, spell book. Oh, somebody says they have chest and neck pain, Jamal. It's never good. Crappie Tron. I don't think there's anything in here I need. Hello, Dolores. I might as well talk to her. I ah, think no. I need to go. Thanks for talking, Natalie. Bye, Dolores. Bye, Natalie. All right, I don't think there's anything in the post office I need. There is mail drop. I don't have any mail. Man, I really was feeling good about it. Looks like they're having a big sale in there. Cast your lot before it's too late. I need a spell book, man. Keep going up. Up, 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 up. Oh. It's a book with a skull on the cover. No, I've seen this not before. just any book with a skull on the cover. It's the book of the dead. Hey. Take it if you wish. It's on the house. But beware. That wasn't here beware of what? last time I was in I here. Know, I would have noticed that. It just that. sounded ominous. All right, guys. We're really on a move now. We finally broke through. Pretty disgusting head. I just want to keep going down. Down, There's down, down. Need to get out of this room. Set the navigator head. All right. Let's go to the hotel. Let's take the elevator to the penthouse and get this show on the road. Boop, 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 There's the reason I can keep drinking from this clean canteen TM is there's ice in it that's melting slowly. All right, let's see. Use Book of the Dead on podium. I think it needs to be glowing to be able to work. It needs something from the dead. It needs a dead man, like this dead man. Booda boop booda boop booda boop boop boop. All right, zap the elevator button. I'm dead. That's probably enough, right? We're going to try it. I don't think this thing is working properly yet. Dang it. It needs something from the dead. Something from the dead. Who's dead? Who's something? Who's... What, what dead thing can I grab? I need this. I need that thing. Whatever that thing is. I need something from the dead. Something... Okay, so I found the secret spell book. I need something from the dead. Who dead? Who dead? Chuck is dead. 
Poopsie. Person whose head that is is dead. So annoying. Oh. A flower from the cemetery. I don't need more flowers. Is the flower dead? Flowers from the dead. Mm, that seems like a stretch. That seems like a big stretch. Put a chip in a bottle. Got all this crap from Ransom. That's really... That really seems like a stretch. But I got nothing else. I got nothing better. Dress makes some good points. This isn't legal advice. Just saying. If you can state where the vehicle was when you attempted the turn, then math. You can figure that out yourself. Do, 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 do. Kind of. I mean, you'd be have to, have to kind of objectively think of how fast it would to how fast you were going to make the turn you took. What's important is you're safe. All right, this is this is a really big stretch. I'm not feeling good about this. The book is glowing. <laughs> I wasn't feeling good about it, but that worked. Mumbo jumbo, mumbonius jumbonius. Let me visit my dead relatives. Holy crap! We did it. Looks like Chuck got a tune to fit his ego. I can't believe that worked. Where's my sarcophagus? Why does brother Chuck get one and I don't? Maybe it's because no one found my body. I'm tired of you pushing me around. Oh. Dolores didn't want to run your stupid factory. I'm tired of you pushing me around. You're a bully and a tyrant. You never respected me, Chuck. Okay. Chuck was always better than me. Chuck was always better than me. You never respected me, Chuck. All right, well, so now we can get into his tomb. Wasn't that the other thing we had to do? Can I walk through the portal? No. Yeah, it's definitely just a ghost thing. All right, let's go to the cemetery. It's a big electrical knife. The switch is stuck. It seems to have been recently welded into place. It's Uncle Chuck's sarcophagus. It's much too heavy to open. And I don't think I'd want to anyway. All right, so we got into the cemetery. What else are we supposed to do? We got into the cemetery. We gave them thimbleberry pie. I think that's all we had to do was right, give them thimbleberry pie and go to the cemetery. Oh, we gotta de, we gotta decode the thing. I was really hoping that there would be a number of some kind in here. But I don't see one. And I'm supposed to also find out what happened to Dad. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Find out what happened to Dad. There's nothing I can click in here. It's just a sarcophagus. Well, there's bet there's nobody in it. Didn't uh didn't Reyes have something to do with that? Didn't she want to visit his cemetery or go in his tomb or something. It's Chuck Edmonds' final resting place. It's much too heavy to open, and I, it's much too heavy to open, and I don't think I'd want to anyway. It's much too heavy to open, yeah, of course. and I don't think I'd want to anyway. 
So I got, I got him in there. And I can't really go around here. I wonder if I can leave the cemetery. Some weird power is keeping me close to the portal to the hotel. I can't get over there. Flowers left over from a funeral. That flowers. That doesn't use electricity. Chill the flowers. It's a tiny bit chilly all of a sudden. Blow on Dolores. Talk to Dolores. I love you, Dolores. I'm very proud of you. All right. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Decrypt Chuck's will for the lawyer. Because I need his lucky number to... He used it to win the lottery. He's got a journal. There's really nothing in here that tells me stuff. If I can just use oh no it won't let me do that no it's not 1138 it doesn't work with that oh, I can drink the tea <sighs> je ne savais pas que je pouvais parler français <laughs> I was hoping. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure I converted so, the button. The label says Howlin Kin Yao T. It's a small wooden figure with mat carved into the base. Phillips Dangerous Device. Hint book. Vacuum tube puller. It's a can of poopsie. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter. Except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. I feel like that matters, but I don't know why yet. Uh, that, that T. How Linkin T. What are you doing? It's the key card for my room. Pocket watch. The plaque says it's a tiny replica of the starship Isabella in a bottle. I don't want to play games with my starship now. I don't want to play games with my starship now. Got an Isabella starship. Who would want that? Nobody. Nobody wants that. All right, let's uh, let's just start exploring a little bit more. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Ooh, that is really high. Oh, Whoa. there's a switch up there. I'm not climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. I wonder if Ransom the Clown will do it. They're probably all afraid of heights. Nope, Ransom will do it. <laughs> I mean, he's a clown, he's in the circus. Let's get the f clown to climb the ladder. <laughs> That's what we're doing. The f circus freak will climb the f ladder. <laughs> for making me do this. For making me do this. He's he's not happy. Waste of my f time. Probably. Waste of my f time. Pull the lever. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. <gasps> she left. 
Oh crap, Dolores. Oh, go in the door. Pull this lever. I don't know what good we're doing. I can't. It's been glued to the turntable. Am I fixing that for Willie, maybe? No, I need that speck of dust. I see it, and I need it. Maybe I'm fixing that for Willie? I can't reach that. Phew, <sighs> what a climb. The radio is on and tuned to 198.7 FM. That means it's going to start. I don't understand what I just did. Like I don't know what that I don't know what the point of it was. I'm not go I'm not going in there. They did a whole half hour hatchet job call in special on my last I can't re Okay, she's not this dead. record has glue all around the edges. Someone must really like this music. Okay, all back to normal again. Okay, so that's something. Glue everywhere. Why is there glue? I can't take it. I'm thinking. I know it looks like I'm just staring. Because I am. <laughs> so there's no record on that turntable. I've got to I've got to broadcast something. But what? Got a Betamax tape. What is it's this? It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I loved it. Not so sure about the ending. All right. So Ransom's the only one that can go up there and turn that off. Don't make me, don't make me watch you climb all the way up there again. Arg! Climb, climb, climb. Game paused. Oh, let's get the Who paused clown an adventure the game? The circus freak will climb the ladder. Jeez, dressed. All this that car accident sounds gnarly. Solvent? Um, no. No, not that I can remember. Because I've thought about that. Like, if I could unglue that record, take it. Um, I've got magic eye drops, anti itch cream, but that's all stuff Ransom has. I mean, I guess he could give it to somebody else. I've got pages to something. Page from my joke book. Specks of dust. Bear repellent. She doesn't have anything useful. Strange tool. She insists this is for the end of the game. Dolores has like most of this stuff. Is there anything else up here? Red light blinking means we're on. What the hell is this? Looks complicated. <laughs> uh, serves him right for that radio show. Now I better get out of here fast. 
Oh, no, we're, we're off the air again? All right. It's a turntable. Let's see. I know it's a turntable. So there's a record on this turntable. What a big lever. So we pull that lever. This record has glue all around the edges. Someone must really... I can't pull that. I can't pull that. Pull the turntable. I can't pull that. This record has glue all around the edges. Someone must really like this music. You strange tool on record. It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. It's a spinning turntable. Impressive mic. Let's see. Ah! Phew. What is coming fun. back? I can't pull that. I can't. It's been glued to the mixing board. Why is everything glued to everything else? So I really just need... I need to put something I on that turntable. Ridiculous. I can't. It's been gl So I'll just need I'll need some sort of record. What the what the devil? Okay. So at least we know something. I don't know what. I don't know what we know. But we know something. Alright. <sighs> We need Uncle Chuck's lucky number. I feel like that's the thing that's really hanging us up. He used it to win the lottery. All right, yeah, go turn your stupid radio station back on. Okay, all back to normal again. There's gonna be a record somewhere. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash. Okay. So I need the jeweler's tools. Star Trek guy. Star Trek guy goes to his room to throw up and I can't go in there. I wonder if I can put something in the door. It says, after 34 years of serving the dry Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead end path. Tubes, are there's no more fingerprint powder left. I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder. And it's missing the fingerprint tape. No more fingerprint powder. I'm just wandering aimlessly at this point. Fix dad's watch. Fix dad's watch. Steal the secrets to pillow factory. I gotta get into the pillow factory. Ransom's list says break into pillow factory. Find missing joke book page. It might be in the forest. Find and use Uncle Chuck's lucky number. Click find decrypt Chuck's will. I need the lucky number to do that. Find out what happened to Dad. I mean, crap. The only thing I know about Dad is he was at this hotel. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. But nobody well, knows he was be here. A boo of service. I'd like some more tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K-Scamaboo contest winners. How else may I be a boo of service? You can't. How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. Well, ThimbleCon Abu just opened to record crowds. How else may I be a boo of service? You can't. I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Gross. That's awful. Let's just let's be done with that. Alright, alright, let's get dad back over here. 
He's visited his people. We really need that glowing thing. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. Okay, hypothetically, <laughs> you would just take it into my secret room. Okay. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. How am I going to get it? Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering. Stay away from my crystal. Stay away from my crystal. The crystal is impervious to your... Stay away from my okay. crystal. Alright, we're gonna go downstairs. Dude, I'm sorry you guys have had history of accidents. That sucks. Jamal, I'm glad you're okay. That's what's important to me. Let's freak out Dolores. The effect would be better if someone was using it. I wonder what the guest is up to now. <laughs> it must be a ghost doing that. I didn't know there were ghosts in the hotel. It's me, Dolores. I'm a ghost. No. Must be my imagination. Come on. There are ghosts. There are ghosts in the hotel, and I need... I wonder what the guest is up to now. I wonder if I can freeze dudes. What floor does he go to? Ten? I think he goes to ten. If I can, like, keep his toilet frozen when he goes in there to be sick, he would be all freaked out. Because there's a jewel or two. But it doesn't stay that way. My toys will never get made. Splash. Maybe it's a blessing that I can't see how bad I look. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy. It's now showing hospital hygiene. I turned it off. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. Gotta be able to freak this guy out. If I zap that, someone might notice and get suspicious. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. That doesn't use electricity. I want to zap everything. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this. Alright, let's see if that just freaks the guy out because he goes back to his room and there's all this crap running. Does that make any sense at all? Oops. <sighs> I don't think it does. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. I wonder what the guest is up. Do, 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 do. Starships in bottles, handmade. What? What the heck just <laughs> dressed the moment you let him zoink in your jinkies with his scoop because you actually want meddling kids? I have no idea what you How just said. How are you feeling now? Do you want another <laughs> hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad. Memories. I hope this guy freaks out. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. I don't want to pick that up. Huh. It's a character from upcoming There's a adventure. robot. Alright, go up there. Go up there and freak out because there's stuff in there. Stay tuned for I love my cat. 
I mean, the unplugged TV didn't freak him out any. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. So it's an open door. Yes, it is. Oh. An ashtray for the smokers. That doesn't use electricity. No reaction, huh? Weird. So sounds like someone's being sick in there. I don't want to see that. So he closes the door. Oh, Chuck! Earl! Vomit! Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. What? How? The elevator isn't the elevator isn't on this floor. I don't get it. Come out of the elevator. Shut up in there. The Coleco Vision will be around. The doors are closed. Hey. That guy got back to his place without me. Right. It's a button to call the elevator. <sighs> We had some really good progress there for a minute. I was feeling good. Now I'm not feeling good anymore. I really want to succeed at something. We haven't done much at all this 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 time. This go this playthrough. This episode. We did figure out that we could potentially play a record or something that makes noise. I have a feeling that's gonna be used for the end of the game somehow. Yeah, he just said ColecoVision. Let's zap the robot. That doesn't use electricity. Can we zap the vending machine? It only sells new coke, and no one wants that. There's gotta be stuff we can zap or... Pew, pew, pew. The developers seem nice. I don't want to muck up their precious computer. Is there a way to get away from Xavier? He doesn't let us do anything. I'm scared he'll lock me in the basement again. But you should try standing up to him. I hear that works if you can follow through. Oh, okay. See you soon, Virgil. Standing up to him. Pew, pew, pew. I can't reach that. I gotta find this Help. Joker's. I'm a ghost. Hello. I need to like freak people out because this Pigeon pew, Brothers are pew, paranormal pew. investigators. The glow makes the cake look delicious. I want that ghostly cake. Help! I'm a ghost. Mmm, waffles. A new ghost. I told you not to bug me. I'm standing up to you. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Stay away from my crystal. Oh. There's no water to splash there. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into. Stay away from my crystal. Blue was never my favorite color. Hey, new ghost, I told you not I don't to, want to talk me. to you. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Great view. I can see everything from here. There's ghosts, man. How do I prove it? Photos of the construction of the hotel and past employees. Photos of the construction of the hotel and past employees. I don't want to pick that up. I don't want to pick that up. Well, back to work. Hello, Dolores. No. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? You can't. I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. See, at least we got that flower thing. That didn't make any sense. You know?
I gotta figure out. Great view. This guy. I can see it's a red gel decoder. I can't see any of the ghostly stuff, including my dad. It won't close. See, use. Book I don't know what words to say to cast the spell. Maybe only certain people can read the spell itself. So weird. I just don't know what to do. Better than the view from the balcony. Hail <laughs> Satan. I don't think that's what the goal is. Oh gosh. Like there's a puddle too. There's a puddle in the forest. You can probably put some sort of thing in that will then let the guys walk through it and lead you to where you need to go. I doesn't feel like that would work at all. There's nobody that's speaking a different language, like I can't talk to. It's a puddle full of muddy water. See, the guy walks through the puddle. Smells like bear crap. <laughs> this smells like bear crap. It's a puddle full of muddy water. Just open puddle. I mean, it's just, it's just, I'm just walking around completely random. I can't talk to the guys it's who are going to their secret meeting. Water. That isn't gonna work. This smells like bear crap. <laughs> Just using the anti-itch cream. Oh. So much for better. What would I put in a puddle that would make it like? Make people make it lead me to stuff. Pigeon Brothers, plumbing, electrical, and par Pigeon Brothers, plumbing, electrical, and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wrench around. I just like man, I'm so lost right now. So lost. I'm thinking really hard about it. I need to find out what happened to dad. But I don't know anything about his room. Like, I don't know. There's nothing to show what actually happened. Except for maybe the recording. But no, he covered that up. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D &D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. Goodbye. Let's have Dolores go talk to that guy again. And if I can't get this figured out, I'm just, I'm calling it a night. And we'll have to come back to it next week. There's something I'm not thinking of that matters. Know what I mean? Shut up. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D &D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I've read all these comics. Okay. <laughs> I have a level 7 wizard. Doug's a good D&D &D DM. Okay. I love Star Trek. 
I want to live on the Enterprise. Okay. <laughs> well, that was kind of pointless. Goodbye. I'm trying not to be convinced into buying any more figurines. It's a character from the upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. I feel like this Spock cosplayer is ahead of our time. <laughs> a disclaimer about the veracity of the information in the books. Pew, pew, pew! He's Cory! And he's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest. Yeah, so get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Ow. Oh. Ransom needs a joke book. I wonder if those jokers have my joke book. Or at least a page. You know? It's my next lawyer's business card. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. Well, how do we find those four pages? Ransom, what are you doing here? What's your problem? You! We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here? Oh, I got an idea. I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. Ransom's gross. He won't care if that guy's throwing up in his room. He'll just go in. Right? <laughs> he only writes writes the pages down so I wouldn't have to remember. Isn't that what uh what Sean Connery said in Indiana Jones Last Crusade? I wrote it down in my diary so I wouldn't have to remember. All right, let's make you throw up once again. Starships in bottles, handmade. This is a stupid How are you idea. Now? But you I mean, want I'm, another hamburger? All I have hamburger? left is stupid ideas. How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad memories. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. I wonder if I can chase him out there. I'm coming for you. No, he just gets in. sick in there. I don't want to see that. I can't push that. Smoking isn't my addiction. <laughs> oh, Chuck. It's locked. It's locked. I want to go in there. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I just need those stupid jewelry tools. Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. How do I do it? Like, what good does it's that locked. do? What what good does it Shut do? Shut up in there. Rub to send him up there. His jewelry tools are sitting there. Teeny tiny spaceships in bottles. Like I got, I got nothing on that. Nothing. Pew! Books on UFOs, animation, and poppies. All right, I thought maybe Ransom wouldn't care, cause he'd just be like, whatever. People are sick, and that's gross. But it's probably cause they didn't animate it, so you can't get in there. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to call it. Cause I'm tired. It's eleven o'clock. It's time for me to go to bed. I have to get up and work in the morning. I can't reach It's just frustrating to end on like on the I didn't figure it out note. You know what I mean? Pew, pew, pew. We made we made a little bit of progress. Not 
to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get the character for the look-alike contest. Yeah, well, let me talk to him. I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. Not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get the character for the look-alike contest. I don't care. I just want your speck of dust. It's right there. That's <laughs> what I want. And you're both standing in the way. Don't touch that. It's the top secret puzzle dependency chart for our new game. <laughs> That's actually Ron, Ron Gilbert's voice. That's awesome. It's weird to hear Ron Gilbert's voice. I don't want to pick that up. And I was like, whoa, hey, that sounds funny. I don't need any more hints, do you? Yes, I need all the hints, pew, dude. Pew, pew. I can't push that. I can't open that. I don't want to talk to him. Starships in bottles. Handmade. Night, Jamal. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me you to got them in your room. place each photon torpedo. Place the photon torpedo up your... I will not listen to such comments, sir. Goodbye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. There's no logic to anything I'm doing at this point. It's just all nuts. I need that glowing crystal. But I don't know how to get it. Because, like... He won't do anything with it. You know what? We're going back to room 402. Which is my room. Only one with them. I don't want anyone in my room other. Okay. Well, that's fine. Shut up in there! Everyone knows it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to make a good movie out of Lord of the Rings. Four oh two. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important. The radio is turned on and tuned to one ninety eight point seven FM. Yeah, turn it off. It's stupid. All right, phone book. Well, Pigeon Brothers. Pigeon. Pigeon Brothers, 6747. Hello, you've reached Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Any paranormal hmm, emergencies. Looks like the other painting. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as toilet tissue. Yes, it's toilet paper, also known as no need. I'm very clean, thank you. One sheet is enough. I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. It's a button to call the elevator. Yeah, let's call the elevator then. I don't know, man. Maybe if I just need to scare the characters in different places and they finally go like, Oh, it's ghosts. It's totally gotta be ghosts. They didn't even seem to care. The lid of a toilet. Things <laughs> don't get more amazing than that. I don't, I just don't know, man. In case of emergency, do not sue Chuck Edmund. There's nothing on the door. 
Chuck's reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. Foreshadowing, maybe? It's turned off. It is now. What if I this zap it? This channel is just static. I should find another channel. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. There's nothing. There's there's nothing. Who's the here. fairest of them all? Bah. I bet there's specks of dust on one of these floors. All right, guys, that's it. I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. So we're just don't watch The Shining. Hey, if you're a big fan of The Shining, the film uh, film sack, one of the podcasts I really really dig, just did a Shining episode and it's really good. So I would check it out. That's all. But you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for struggling through this one with me. Um, hopefully next week I'll have some sort of epiphany. And we'll figure out what the devil we're supposed to do. Because I am at the end of my rope. I mean, I'm not like going to do anything terrible. But I'm just feeling bummed on not getting that far. We did get a few things done. We figured out a couple things. But uh, I was hoping to be more productive tonight. But... Hey, man, that's what these adventure games are all about, figuring out the puzzles. And we will do it next week. We will get somewhere, and we'll feel much better about our lot in life. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Stay cool. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time on The Adventures of Steven.